What is up, you guys? It's your boy John here from Puma Plot. How's everybody doing? And welcome to another Pleasant Valley video here in Farming Simulator 15, of course, and of course on the PC as always. So, guys, we are doing some high speed wood chipping. Now, disclaimer this is the whole video. So, if you guys aren't interested, whatever, feel free to click away. But if you guys, those of you that are, Thank you for sticking around. Like I said, this is the whole video. This was 50 minutes of recording to make this 20 minute video. 50 minutes of recording to make a 20 minute video. So it's like almost like an hour worth of uh, work here. 50 minutes, close to an hour. We'll call it an hour. So this was an hour worth of recording <laughs> uh, to make this video. And at the end we do go for a ride in the truck via course play. So, uh, yeah, this is all course played. Those two trucks there are just sitting there with course play running. And you can see that's why it's complaining about the one kind of chilling there. We did cover this in the last video. We set this up and uh, we did a little bit of this. But, you know, I needed to... I need to get some wood chips in my storage. So, hence why I did this whole video like this. I thought it was kind of neat and a little different to see it kind of in fast time. Um... There are a couple times where I kind of sat here for just an extra second or two. I was messing with videos on my tablet. I was watching, um, what was I watching? A little One Lonely Farmer, How Farms Work, and Rooster Teeth Podcast. That's what I was doing while I was watching, or while I was doing this. Uh, I had them playing on my tablet, and then uh, tablets hooked to my headphones so that I could uh, kind of, you know, have something to listen to while I was uh, working on this. And, uh, yeah. So, Brux Chipper, one of the best mods ever. Um, doesn't really like to work with a truck right next to it. Uh, the auger wagon seems like the best way. I know in real life, you guys, you would not put wood chips in an auger wagon, obviously. I mean, I guess you could. It probably wouldn't work, like, at all. <laughs> um, but, you know, you probably could. And uh, so that's what we do here. It just, it really works. Like, this is working. The only other thing I wish I I had going, to be honest, is a second one. But since I'm playing this map in single player right now, uh, the second one is out of the question. I actually do have a second one on this map. Um, that was from before. And it's just been sitting in the shed. We have a second one of these T9s, or T6s as well, with front loader arms and another auger wagon. Um, just chilling. So, like I keep saying, someday when we put it back on the server... Uh, we may end up doing more wood chipping, but I, I I do a little bit here, so we, I don't know how much more I'm going to need. Hopefully, I will be smart about my wood chipping here. Not really wood chipping, but what the wood chips produce as far as boards, drywall, and resin. I don't think as of making this video, I'm going to sell any more until I am done with it at the other places. As, until I'm done with it at the factories. I probably won't sell any more of it just because it's just not worth it anymore to me like I don't really need to buy anything I mean it's nice having you know 20 million dollars and all but I don't really need to buy anything else on this map to keep going like I'm going and everything so I am not too worried about that but uh, yeah so you can see how cool it is the one truck goes and the other truck just pulls up um, yeah, here's one of those moments right there <laughs> where I thought I was, uh, you know, paying attention, but apparently I wasn't. All right. So, yeah, we are just uh, chipping away here. Sorry, I had a little cut there in the audio. It seems to happen like every time I'm going to record something, there's some background noise. So it, it happens. It's all good. It's part of it. It's, eventually, I will have my own space, um, my own space you know, studio space that's nice and quiet, um, somewhere where I can get away from kind of the noise of my house in general. I mean, there's other people that live here, so it's, it's, oh, I'm punching my microphone wire. I'm sorry. I'm trying to plug this thing in. There we go. I can hear myself now. Hello. Whoa. Is it me you're looking for? Hello from the other side? I don't know. Anyway, uh, wood chipping away. It is awesome. I won't tell you guys how many wood chips we put away quite yet because at the end of the video I show it. So 
not going to do that quite yet. Or how many wood chips we get up to total? Uh, if you guys remember from, I think it was last video, we had like 300 and something thousand wood chips, which isn't even enough to fill up Cogent. Because Cogent holds half a million. Or no, Cogent holds a million, I do believe, actually. So it uh, takes a while to fill up the old Cogent plant there. Uh, so not really much we can do about that, but uh, but wood chips, that's all we can do. So we are wood chipping for days. And sorry, I got like some hiccup things going on over here. Ooh, boy. <laughs> so the goal eventually would be to cut this entire forest down, but I don't know if we need to. Um, if we get to the point where we're running low on wood chips, then uh, we can come back in here and basically continue what we're doing. But I'll probably be done with wood chipping for a little while on this map or maybe maybe I'll do some more it's kind of depends on how much free time I have and how much YouTube I have to watch because I, I watch a lot of YouTube um, while I play this game and I, you know what I bet you guys do as well let me know what do you guys watch while you're uh, playing farm sim what do you guys watch what do you listen to because you know you can pretty well watch a YouTube video and play farm sim and and be just fine or listen at least listen to a youtube video and play farm sim just fine um i watch a lot of stuff daily and play farm sim like roman atwood i watch his daily videos and uh usually we'll play farm sim while i'm watching them. casey neistat same thing I, I really like both their videos but you know i can multitask that's why i have multiple monitors so i can multitask uh, and do those things so um yeah, I also watch that Repo channel, Repo Nut. It's it's a great channel. Dude repos cars out in Utah. It's it's awesome. I I don't know why I stumbled or how I stumbled across it, but it's one of those channels where like I can't get enough and I would just want to watch more and more and more. And it's basically the same thing, but you know, it's still really cool. So you know, that's the whole thing about YouTube for me. Like I was definitely a fan of YouTube. And a fan of other people that played video games on YouTube before I ever made my first video. It was I watched a lot of YouTube before I was like, light bulb moment, we can do this. <laughs> so, you know, it was it was I, I started as a fan. I mean I kinda think that's how most people get into YouTube anymore is they watch it and they go, Well, I have an opinion about that or I want to show people my life story or I'm going to show people, you know, what I film with my drone or I want to show people, you know, blah, you name it. Like that's how I think a lot of people get into it these days. They watch it and want to get into it. I know that's definitely how it was for me. So, you know, the biggest piece of advice I've heard about YouTube, um, for making a channel successful. And I know there's a lot of you guys that have channels. Um, or starting channels or about to start channels even but the the biggest piece of advice I heard from uh, I think it was Roman Atwood or Casey Neistat one of those two actually was just keep uploading don't stop don't miss days just keep uploading and it's totally true you know if you if you don't upload you're not going to grow your channel so if you want to grow your channel you just have to keep uploading it's just that simple um you know, you, you don't have to think about it much. It, it totally makes sense. Just keep going. Keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, always look at ways to improve your, your videos and your setup. And don't be afraid to spend that first money or a lot of money that you get back from it. I mean, it's not a lot of money. Let me just throw that out there. I'm not making billions of dollars off YouTube. Millions on the... No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not making that. I can't actually really, like, tell you how much based on terms of service and stuff. I'll get in trouble, but, um, it's not, like, a lot. I mean, it's nice that there's any money there because it allows me to buy equipment, games, um, stuff like that. Stuff for the channel. Don't be afraid to spend the money that you're making off your channel back on your channel because it's, it's an investment in your future. You know, realistically, this has become, like I always say, this has become a job in any kind of company that you want to grow, you have to spend money on. You know, there's no company that you can just hit the ground running and, and not spend any money on. <laughs> it's not how life works, you know, you have to spend money 
to be able to make more in the future. And, you know, if I buy a new computer, that's that computer is going to make me a lot of money, you know. Or if I spend money on, say, a monitor to make my setup better so I can see everything while I stream or, or you know, I can edit more projects. I can have more projects open at once or sometimes when I do edits I'll have to have, you know, like if I'm doing an on-the-farm video where there's like a high-speed montage in there, well, I'll open up another editing window, you know, have a couple editing windows open at a time even working on one project. And... You know, multiple monitors just really helps that. So, you know, if I buy a better microphone, so I sound better. So people that come and find my videos are like, hey, that dude sounds professional. I'm going to follow him, you know, be a, wow, I don't sound professional now. But, you know, if it's on YouTube or Twitch, the better the microphone, the better, you know, like I'm using a $10 microphone, but I have it running through a $100 mixer, you know, it's the mixer really helps. You can kind of take a crappy microphone and make it sound pretty good through a mixer. So that's what I'm running. I'm running a Behringer, you know, mixer, USB mixer. And the microphone I have is a Pile Pro. It was $10 when we bought them back in the day. I think it's up to around 15 now on Amazon. Just go search Pile Pro and I'm pretty sure it's the first microphone that pops up. You know, it's, but you got to spend money on it. You know, if I was using, let's say, microphone that was built into earbuds nobody's gonna watch that video because it sounds terrible you know it's like you have to have to sp spend the money to play basically so you know at first and and really it still kind of is it's an expensive hobby but the good thing is that the channel does make a little bit of money and it goes right back into the channel you know i'm not padding my pockets with it so and i don't ever really I mean, obviously, there's things I will buy to, you know, I have to live. And, you know, if the channel can help pay for, for that, then that's awesome. But whatever I need for the channel is first. You know, if I need, I don't even know, if I, if I need the new games, you know, the new farm sim, the channel's going to pay for that for me, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know why I just went on a weird rant about money, but that's what I did. So, <laughs> um, Hi and thanks. <laughs> now, though, the biggest thing I can tell you about YouTube is for 99% of the people that start channels, you're not going to get rich overnight. You're not going to get famous overnight. I don't consider myself famous. I just consider myself somebody that people, a few people on the internet know who I am. That's it. I'm not famous. I don't ever see myself as being famous. Um, I'm not like that. But there are a lot of people in... To be honest, my nephew was one of them that thought he could start a YouTube channel, upload less than 10 videos, and have all these subscribers and all this everything. And it's like, it's for most people, it doesn't work like that. You know, right now at this point, we're, we, and I say we because of the community, because it is just me and the awesome community. So, you know, we are approaching, we're approaching four years in January here. So I'm a little over three and a half years now into this and it takes a lot of work, but you know what? The worth, it, the work is worth it. Say that five times fast, would you? The work is worth it in my opinion. And what I get out of this is so much more than just a, a few dollars. You know, I get, I've made some awesome friends and I know that I have a really good community that stands behind me and really supports me the whole plow on thing, you know, that's a big part of, of, of it all. Um, that just shows me that you guys really do stand behind me. And, uh, I appreciate that. You know, I really do. And I said it on a stream a while back, like, you know, I can say so much that I appreciate it and everything, but the person you'd really need to talk to is like Casey, who's my buddy who I've known forever. You know, he, he knows how much all this stuff means to me and how much the community means to me the the awesome community that i have behind me now and i've had for a long time but it's just it's to the next level now in a way um if that makes sense but you know people like casey people like my mom my dad you know they know how much all this means to me and uh you know how much i truly do appreciate everything that i have because of youtube because of you guys watching 
um, it's just awesome. And, you know, I, I've never, I never thought it would come anywhere near to what it has. And, uh, it's just great. It's just great. You know, I was talking in one of the earlier videos in the series about the 20,000 subscriber thing. Like as of recording this, it is still before that. But I know when, when I see that, that first number change from a one to a two, like that's legit, you know, <laughs> that is legit. We're that much closer to a hundred thousand. We're that much closer to a million or whatever. However far we get, we're that much closer to it. And the cool thing about YouTube is that, and yeah, I know I say YouTube a little weird, like I'm from a north, north. <laughs> the cool thing to YouTube, to me, honestly, is that the sky's the limit. You know, the more work you put in, the more you're gonna get rewarded as far as subscribers and views and and all that it's just it's awesome it's just awesome the possibilities are endless um and i kind of think that's part of the draw for a lot of people is that there's no like limit you know it's the, the possibilities truly are endless so it's really cool it's it's really great it's a job that i never thought i would have growing up of course because youtube wasn't a thing when i was growing up because i'm old <laughs> I can remember a time, guys, before the internet was a thing. Okay? I'm old. <laughs> Our first modem that we bought, guys, was a 288K modem. 288. Which, if you think about now, 288 uh, would be like... How do you even explain this? Okay, so nowadays, let's consider the internet like a fire hose. Like, it really shoots out fast, right? Like, big volume and lots of water, okay? That's the internet today, a fire hose, okay? The internet when I was a kid was like a little squirt gun, <laughs> okay? And that's it. <laughs> Not much water, real slow. That was the internet when I was a kid. So, yeah. <laughs> And nowadays, it's a freaking fire hose, you know, super fast and lots of bandwidth and all that good stuff. Back in the day, it was so slow. So slow. But there was no YouTube. There was no Facebook. There was no Twitter. There was none of that kind of stuff, you know. No Instagram. You know, the first time I went to YouTube, it, like, blew my mind. Now, by that point, we had, like, cable internet, and it was, it was a lot faster. I think we were getting, like three megs down and maybe half a meg up like that was an improvement guys that was an improvement <laughs> over dial up so uh but i can remember like telling people about this crazy website called youtube with all these videos of like cats and and all this different stuff and and now it's like yeah everybody knows about youtube everybody's been to youtube everybody watches youtube you know it's, it's it's funny how how things have changed just in my lifetime you know i think back to like my grandma living 90 years like she saw some stuff you know world war ii um just everything like that you know there's so much stuff that happened in my grandma's lifetime that it's just crazy to think about you know i took a laptop to her house one time and i was showing her a bunch of pictures and she's like how do all these fit inside of here and then the only way I could explain it that she would understand, I just went, it's magic, Grandma. <laughs> like, how else do you explain that? <laughs> Somebody that's, you know, in their 80s at that point. It just, you know. All right, so we're going to take a ride with this truck. He is being controlled by Courseplay. I did not, I'm not driving this currently, or when this video was filmed. Not driving it, it is going all by itself, all the way to the storage facility, and I really could have gotten away with one truck, but I figured two would be better. Uh, that way I didn't have to wait at all, there was always a truck there waiting for me. So, we are going to dump out, and we will see, we have about 2 million liters, a little over 2 million, so we added quite a few. We had about 300,000 before we started. But guys, like, hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I'm your boy John from Poop Plot. Thanks for watching and toodles.